So what is the future of entrepreneurship? I mean, this is entrepreneurship right now is, is a very sexy topic. Everybody loves to talk about it. Uh, we have several universities that are putting an entrepreneurship program, some very successful, some that are very new and starting to get people out there and, you know, okay, we need to talk about how do we start a business? How do we get out and, you know, find funding, whatever it might be. But what is the actual future of entrepreneurship? Um, when we look at that, we have to take a long-term look at the way our economy is changing, the way that the markets are changing. Uh, entrepreneurship has really blown up, at least in its uh, awareness, public awareness, over the past 10 years with the advent of social media and technology and, the, and these different uh, tech companies out of Silicon Valley, which has done some wonderful things for us. It's given us tools right at our fingertips that allows us to actually uh, make a living or to develop or create something. The, but the key of entrepreneurship and the, and the foundational uh, element there is patience and the ability and willingness to take risk. And this is something that as we've seen more of these companies come out and to put out more products into the marketplace that have made our lives easier, we've seen risk aversion increase with that. And greater risk aversion has come about as a result of uh, this culture of instant gratification that ironically has been created by all the innovation and all the technology and entrepreneurship over the past 10 years. As we look to the future of entrepreneurship, which is something that uh, is only going to increase, especially if the studies that have been put out that over the next two decades, 47% of the US labor market is gonna be automated, then entrepreneurship is gonna be on the forefront of most people's minds, whether they're starting their own business or stepping out and trying to actually create something new that they can sell and generate revenue with. So the key for folks as they're looking ahead is to first have a realistic understanding that in order to be successful, especially in the 21st century, is that you have to be ready to fail several times over before you succeed. But real entrepreneurship and the type of entrepreneurship that we need in our country and our world today is that which has a long-term view and has the willingness to stick to it in order to solve major problems. That will really allow us to go forward and start to create the market that will give others that come behind us a more realistic and foundational expectation for what it takes to build and succeed in this century.